welcome back. It's Melanie, your Shishet Scrapper. So I am back with a one-page layout using the Jen Hadfield Along the Way collection. I have the paper pad and then I also have the chipboard. I don't have any other stickers or ephemera for the kit. Um, and honestly, I found that a bit challenging. Um, but what I decided to do, I really liked this light blue polka dot. And then I want to, wanted to kind of bring in that, I'll call it kind of coral and then the light pink. Um, I have just a single picture uh, going back, I want to say maybe in the late 50s, early 60s. Um, it is my... This is for my mother-in-law's album. It is, let me think. Oh, I want to say my father-in-law's grandparents. And I think they had like 15 or 16 kids. If I'm thinking correctly, <laughs> I think this is who it is. Um, one thing I am finding a little bit challenging is using these pictures is that they are a smaller size and I only have one of them to use uh, for each of these huge 12 by 12 um, layouts. So that is a little bit of a challenge for me, especially with this layout. The other ones have been okay, but for whatever reason, I did kind of struggle with this layout. Um, so again, I have all of this these chipboard um, stickers and I really wanted to use that um, floral, kind of looks like a stencil, but it is paper. I wanted to use that. It is from Heidi Swap. I think I got it in one of my Not Just For Boys kit clubs, my kits. Um, and I really kind of tried to incorporate a couple of different things that I don't usually incorporate in my layouts. This being one of them, I did think it was a great kind of layering piece and I love the floral look of it um, but again it was a challenge for me um, I decided to grab out my Heidi Swap tags I think I got these from Joann's to see if there was anything that kind of matched or anything that I wanted to use um, and there were a couple of them that I did like I liked that clear one and then the one on the right now is was like a canvas and so I really liked that I decided to kind of flip the layout, flip the stripe, so to speak, and that is how I am actually going to leave it. I am going to leave the stripe um, vertical and one of the many changes I make on this layout. <laughs> um, instead of a title, I liked this little silhouette with the flowers on top. It had a saying in it, live in the moment each day. And I thought that it was just great. Um, so instead of a huge title, I decided to use that instead um, and again maybe that was part of the challenge for me as well um, so I decided to distress the edges of this paper a little bit because in the back of my mind I had you know I was thinking of where to embellish and how to embellish the rest of the page and one of the ways I was thinking was to kind of rip um, part of the page the blue paper and back it with another paper and I wanted something else on the layout to feel distressed as well I didn't want that to be like the only place I guess um and so that was kind of my thinking and doing that uh kind of thinking ahead and for whatever reason distressing the pink paper right there was a challenge for me it ripped so many times which in the end is okay, but um, usually it doesn't rip that often for me. So here's where I ripped the blue paper and I decided to back it with that bright pink um, coral paper. And then I wanted to use that kind of as an, a base for an embellishment cluster. So I found this little butterfly and it's almost like a notebook piece of paper. I don't remember what it says, sorry. Maybe in the close-ups um, you can say what it says. And then I, this, is also something that has been in my stash from a not just for boys kit that I have not used and so when I said I tried to use things you know this is part of that and I wasn't even sure how to get it to stick that in itself was a challenge <laughs> um, the 
tacky glue that I used, the Scotch tacky glue, actually worked, but it needed to dry before I kind of played with it or moved it. Um, otherwise, it was not going to stick. So it does end up sticking. I just I thought I wanted to use that kind of as a base for another embellishment cluster. Um, that little chipboard piece says memories, and I just added some enamel dots um, to that cluster, and then some enamel dots to the top cluster as well. And honestly, I wasn't sure if it was that yellow piece was gonna stick or not, and so I did tape it on the back just to make sure it kinda helped it. <laughs> and here is where I was stuck. I thought it needed something else. I wasn't sure what or where. Um, in my, I don't know, what I like to do, I guess, is embellish in a triangle. Um, and so I decided to actually rip the top little piece to add a, an embellishment cluster under that. And I added a chipboard flower cluster. And then I decided to use, I think it's like a birdhouse with some florals um, and place that over top. And I did like the way that that looked. Um, I am going to, I, maybe I didn't pop that other one up on foam tape, um, the birdhouse. I think I just left it. And if you watch Missy, I think it's Widen, Widen, um, she, a lot of times she will use thread, which I didn't have thread, but I did have like twine. And so I just thought that would be kind of fun too, because I don't usually do that on a layout. And again, I just used my tacky glue. Um, and here I thought I was finished. I, after I moved this over, I just thought that was kind of out of place. Um, I wanted it to be completely in a triangle, I guess. And then once I did that, I thought I was finished. I walked away, um, wasn't thrilled with the layout. I felt like that right side of the photo was kind of plain. Um, the kind of tasseled uh, piece, the yellow piece, I felt like was out of place. So I showed my husband, I showed my dad, and I said, what does this layout need? I walked away, came back another day, and decided to record um, what I did <laughs> to what I think fixed the layout. Um, I decided, you know, something else did need to be on that right side of the picture. It just really, the yellow piece looked out of place. There was no way to rip it up without ruining um, the background piece of paper. So I went back and found this pink floral paper from the paper pad and decided to kind of start some layers behind, some more layers behind the photo. Um, I couldn't get right down to the yellow for whatever reason with that pink floral. So I decided to use that coral paper and kind of do a strip across um, right above the yellow. I was able to rip up that um, chipboard silhouette and I did rip um, like that background floral kind of stencil looking paper, uh, but I end up covering it back up anyways. So I played around with this um, Love Always Cut Apart and I did like the way that it looked. Um, and now that I look at it, it looks... I think it looks really good. I don't end up using it, <laughs> but um, I do actually like the way that that looks. What I decided to do with that yellow um, strip is carry it over through the rest, across the rest of the page. Um, I don't think the yellow looked out of place. I just think with it just being on the right side of the layout, I think that's what made it look out of place. Um, so I decided to carry that all the way across the page and again kind of struggled with getting it glued down But um, once the tacky glue dried I was it, it was fine um, So now it was kind of just deciding okay, so I liked that Love always on the right hand side, but maybe I could add a title to the top um, so 
sorry for the reach into my drawers. Um, I'm glad I didn't really move the camera angle very much. My tripod sits right on top of those drawers. So I did find that black um, love title. Um, thought I was going to use it, but again, I wanted to do another layer. I thought it needed, you know, another layer. So I found this, um, I want to call it black, but it's more of a really, really deep gray and it has gold birds on it. So I decided to use that as a layering piece and I was going to use the love um, title still. And then I remembered <laughs> I have this nice drawer right next to me full of like Felicity Jane um, embellishment stickers and everything. And so I decided to dig into that instead of keeping it into the same collection I thought it just needed something and that flower I felt like that coral just was right for this page and so I ended up using that flower um sat on top of that you know kind of dark gray bird paper and I really like the way that looked and then I was searching through all of my stickers for some small phrase stickers and again forgot to go into my drawer with all my nice Felicity <laughs> Jane goodies in it. Surprise, surprise. So I found some nice chipboard sayings. Um, I think there's a white one, a light pink, and a yellow which was absolutely perfect. Um, and the sayings fit just right. I think one says just darling and one says love. and I, don't remember what the top one says maybe happy so that is going to finally finish off this layout um, once I held that up I saw that I kind of had that yellow piece um, a little crooked so I just was able to rip it up real quick and straighten it out but that is going to finish off this layout I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for sticking through this whole process of this layout because it was Definitely time consuming and a little bit frustrating, but I hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time. Bye guys.